A building in the making for many years is finally open, open to adults with autism as part of the Faith and Center campus. Pioneer Hall will house a behavioral health clinic and the adult day program. The Edmonds, who helped the Faith and Center expand to five buildings, are honored to have the Page Edmonds Clubhouse named after their daughter. Debbie says the world-class school helps those on the spectrum live a normal life. Well, you know, it's always nice in the morning when she wakes up and she's happy because she gets to go to, to school. She likes volunteering, apparently. Um, she likes to go exercise with them. All good, healthy things for her. And, you know, she comes home at the end of the day and she's had a full day, just like any other adult. Earlier this year, I introduced you to Ben Ratner, a Faison Center student with severe autism, who is now a part of the adult day program with Paige. They get forgotten sometimes. And knowing that Ben has this place and this community to care about him, just, you know, we're not gonna be here forever. And um, this place will be. 2023 is the 25th year that the Faison Center has pioneered advances in the field of autism. For more information on Faison's child to adult programs, visit FaisonCenter.org. And I was able to see Brian McCann and the entire team there, and it's just remarkable what they're doing for this community. They really are. They are just setting beyond trends. They are just setting the standard, the gold standard. They are pioneers for sure.